Hey everyone, I'm here uh, to play something called Fro Gun. Frog gun? For, well, it's it's a frog. You see, uh, as you can see that in my hand there, it's a frog. It's also a gun. So, fro gun. If you just look at the word, you might think it's fro gun, but maybe it's froggin? Froggin? Fro frog frog gun. Frog gun. Listen, we could spend all day talking about how to pronounce it. Let's play the game. As you can tell, it's got a look going on here. Uh, I look at this game and play this game, and the first game that comes to mind uh, is Chameleon Twist. You know, everyone uh, can't stop talking about Chameleon Twist, you know, ever since it came out back on the, uh, was it 64? I think it might have just been 64. But as you can tell, this is very inspired by kind of that era, the PS1 and 64 platformer era. You know, I've thought of, you know, Crash Bandicoot, uh, about uh, Chameleon Twist. If you guys want to talk about Chameleon Twist, let me know. Uh, it is a collectathon, which is also a popular thing back in the day. As you can see, the frog gun, the fro gun, you can hit A, and it'll uh, it'll lick there, and you can pull yourself towards walls and stuff. You can pull enemies towards you. That's kind of the main gimmick there. you got a couple of these things per level you can get. Uh, it scores you each level on collecti collectible percentage, uh, on your time. There's lots of little, like, if you want 100% this game, you can uh, you can really go to town on it. Now, here, here here's a problem I got right here. You hit uh, you hit B to jump. I'm playing, uh, I'm playing on the Xbox here, and B to jump is a weird one. But then again... Back in the day that this harkens to, there was a lot of weird button stuff going on. We hadn't all just decided that uh, A is going to be the jump button forever. So here we are. Maybe that's maybe that's intentional. But A, A in this is your fro gun button, you see. You can jump on stuff, which was, uh, again, popular in the day. Jumping on enemies, jumping on stuff. Uh, you got some camera control here. There is a little more, uh, when you think back to those games of, of that era, a lot of them were pretty linear. This one, there's there's a little bit of exploration in levels. There's some branching paths and stuff you can do. Uh, you can either blaze through all the levels, or you can really, you know, take your time trying to get everything. I'm taking a little bit more time here trying to get everything here. The frog gun talks, as you can see down there. The frog gun is talking. Uh, I gotta look out for secrets, it says. That's a bouncy thing. Oh, there are checkpoints. This is, uh, it, it can be kind of hard at times. When you fall, it, uh, it, checkpoints are kind of few and far between sometimes. So... It will send you back quite a bit, uh, and I, I've had some frustrating times with this. It certainly feels of its day, both in good and bad ways. I think it kind of nails the look here, but also um, some of the checkpointing and stuff has been frustrating. Uh, I'll also show you, obviously, retro is a, a big focus of this, so it gives you a, a decent amount of filters and stuff. Look at this, if you want to look full on. Uh, that's that's a pretty, pretty accurate filter, I would say. I uh, I mess around with all the different filters. They can be, they, they're they're nice. They're nice to add in a game that's so retro focused. But ultimately, I think I prefer just uh, just the normal thing. So let's go back to that. Change that back. And you see, you got the TV one there. You got your arcade one. You got your LED, and you got your none. Uh, so one thing that is helpful here is you can hold an LT. I think you can do it with like another button too. I'm not sure which one, RB or something, to kind of lock in place. So like, if you, oh, it's it's explaining it right here. Look at that. X, Y, or left trigger. I think left trigger works the best. If you just want to lock in before you do it. But it can be kind of hard because some of the jumps you really need to uh, do on the fly, like while you're jumping and stuff like that. So some of them can get a little bit wonky. Uh, I, I've definitely missed some jumps thanks to that. I need to be better about getting all those vases, vases, uh, because a lot of those will have stuff in it. Let's take a look here. Okay, so... I don't want to hurry too much, but... Uh, I'm not going to get the time thing this time. I'm, I'm taking my time talking and stuff. I'm not going to get that bonus. So that's the end of the level there. You see, I got 155 out of 155. So here it's going to score me. It's going to be like, hey, you got this, you got this, you didn't get that. So let's see what I got. All right. I got the zero deaths thing. I got two emeralds. I did not get the obsidian skull, but I got all the coins. You see the, uh, the little logo thing there. A little pendant will fill in depending on what you get there. So when you go level to level, if you want to 100% stuff, as you can see, okay, twisty bridge there. I, I missed some stuff. There, there's some bonus things going on here. Let's see, uh, there's a shop. Let me show you down here. And it's uh, it's stuff like hats. You can buy hats with your coins. There's, uh, there's art here. See, I got 307. I bought some expensive hats. I bought a kiwi hat and a melon hat. Oh, look, dab, look at that dab, hang on. Dab, that's a dab. I recognize a dab on site. That's a dab right there. Yep, there we go, that's a dab. Let's put on the kiwi hat, and there we go. That, that is not a dab. That's not a dab, not a dab. Dab! Got it, all right. 
Uh, so about a kiwi hat. Let's look at a, another. There, there, there's some variety in the levels here. So let's take a look at those. This is a race. Um, race on the top side. This guy's a dick. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, he'll probably introduce himself. He's a dick and he's got a gun that's not a frog. I don't really know. Uh, what is it? A dinosaur or something? Let's see. Okay. So if I wanted to go full. Blo I was trying to kind of like gimmick my way up here, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So he's going to pop down and be a dick. Now these, it's it's a fun, it's, it's fun to have variety, but these can be kind of annoying because he goes kind of slow and if you touch him, it hurts you. So I find with these, I want to just get ahead of him and stay ahead of him, which, you know, in a race is, is not a bad strategy, frankly. Uh, so that's, uh, that's Jake. He's a dick. Oh, and Snatch. That's Jake and Snatch. Is Snatch a, it's a snake. I think that's a snake. So he's got a s snake gun. Jake, Jake the snake, Jake the snake. And I'm Renata with a uh, fur, fur gun. Okay, now the guns are talking to each other. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to take off here. Um, you can throw shit at him. I, I have not 100%ed any of the levels with Jake because I just wanna beat his ass, basically. So, watch a second. Ha! That'll stop him in his tracks a little bit. But yeah, it hurt. Oh, sh see what I mean? I screwed that right up. And then you gotta start over. Also, you can't uh, you can't just skip through all of his dialogue. I mean, you can hit A quickly to get through it, but you can't just like, hey, fuck you, I've heard this, you know? This kind of reminds me of the Coop of the Quick type stuff, uh, or what was that Pianta dipshit in uh, in Sunshine? You know what I mean? Uh, I, I like a good race level on a 3D platformer. I gotta say, I don't love this game. It's it's nice, uh, but it, it's kind of frustrating, and there, there's not like the hook of the gun is not great to me. Um, but I do think the heart, the soul, uh, is good. I love anything that, that pays homage to uh, this era that that I love. And uh, this, this is certainly made with love by somebody who uh, really appreciated the, uh, the era. I believe I might be saying this. Is it Mogato is the, the developer? I, th I think it might be a, a very small team, if not one person. Uh, but it, it's just very clearly, you know, made with the genuine love of the era. Let's see here. All right. So these, these dumb dummies you can just kind of uh, just go right into. These you can throw... Yeah, once you're ahead of them, as long as you don't, like, totally screw up, you're generally okay. Well, now I feel like a damn fool. Okay, well, now I gotta, now I gotta win to make sure I don't make a fool out of myself here. Okay, hang on. Hang on, so we go zap. Jump up here. I'm not concerning myself with coins. Renata cares not for riches. Renata just wants victory. Renata's an athlete. Ah! <laughs> yeah, see what I mean there? That's frustrating. That's that's frustrating. All right, God damn it! Now I look like a damn fool on the internet. I'm not somebody who can afford to look ridiculous. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, it's it's really simple. This is a uh, you know you jump, you frog gun, you uh, you lock on. That's that's pretty much what you're doing here. There there are boss fights. Maybe we'll take a look at uh, that after this. But uh, quite quite simple. Oh God. Okay. And. I don't know if you are super obsessed with this type of uh, gameplay. You know, it's, there's definitely stuff you can do at 100%. But I don't know. I consider myself probably among the target audience for something like this. Someone who's very nostalgic for 3D platformers of the mid to late 90s. And, uh, you know, I appreciate this, but I'm not loving the experience of playing it. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I have to wonder how many people are going to, you know, really put that time in and go after the 100% here. It is on everything. It's on uh, your your PlayStations and your Switches and your your uh, Xboxes and personal computers and, and whatnot. So, uh, you know, getting access to it shouldn't be difficult. Just, uh, just you know, we'll just see if you like it or not. That's kind of the determining factor, right? That's kind of the determining factor for any game, right? You're not going to play a game if you don't like it. I don't know. I hear about people that, you know, don't like Dota, but they play uh, a jillion hours of it. So, you know, that's maybe not across the board. Maybe people play games they don't like. I don't know why you would. Look, I'm not here to psychoanalyze you if you do. Hey, look at that idiot. You put me over. Nice. Okay, I don't need this fly anymore. Get out of here. Uh, that's just the guy saying, hey, I got a shop now. Okay, well, look at that. Oh, wait. I think I have to talk to that guy to actually finish. Hang on, let's just do that just in case. Yeah, okay, we can go back. I think the thing pops up once you talk to him. Yeah. Okay. Guy's got a good look to him. Got a real Fraggle Rock situation going on there. 
That thing looks like a cookie. I would like to eat that thing. Especially when you start putting the, the stuff on it. Then it looks like it's got like a candy top on it, you know? But even by itself, just the cookie part, it looks like, like an animal cracker type situation. But then when you add the stuff, it's almost like, you know, the, the pink frosted animal crackers and it just makes it even better. That's kind of what that does for me. All right, uh, Prickly, this is the boss here. Let's let's go in and see a boss uh, boss level here in fro Froggen. Froggen. A little bit of a level before we do the boss thing, I believe. Well, actually, this looks like a full-on level. Look at that. You got your rolling balls. It's a, it's a staple. Everyone loves the rolling balls. I feel like that's an unnecessary tooltip. Just saying, like, hey, don't, don't hit the rocks. Is this trying to teach me? Okay, yeah. Hold to go higher. Yep, 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 yep. Got it. Not a ton of variety in, in level type, really. Uh, you know, it's a lot, lot of ruins. You know, there's trees and rocks and stuff. It's not, nothing crazy. But then again, you know, I'm beating the game or anything, but I've gotten decently far in it. Oh, why am I trying to pull it from there? That's a stupid thing to do. Okay, let's do... Ha! And then that. Okay. Got that going on. Fall in a hole. Looks dangerous. Is not, though. That'll just take me down to the boss fight arena. Uh, I've done a, a few of these boss fights. They have not been my favorite. Good look to them. You know, I think about a 3D platformer boss fight, like a, in a rare game or a banjo or something. I picture a big platform like this and something hopping around. And you just kind of, like, wait for something to pop up that you can, like, like just fly. Like, okay, now I can hit him. That's, that's a proper boss fight of the era. Okay, we got rocks. I think the tiny shadow is the uh, the flies. Radial uh, impact stuff going on, you know, as they do. I want to say it, it has bucked the uh, the three-hit death thing that a lot of these games do. I want to say some have taken four or five. But I could be wrong. We'll see. I've hit, I've hit this one, too. I can confirm that. It's going to get dizzy. Get dizzy. Wait, no. I'm going to wait till it's dizzy. This fly isn't going anywhere. Okay, dizzy. That's three. Bucking tradition. I hit it three times. It is not dead. Let's count together. Okay, we got three. We got two flies. That's two ammo, basically. Okay. Dizzy. That's four. Four! So, it's not slavishly dedicated to uh, the traditions of yore. It was willing to put its own spin on it by having it take, uh, you know, four instead of instead of three hits. So, that's Frogun. You know, this is it's it's gonna be a quick quick look. Oh, you get these treasure chests after uh, a boss fights, and you can get stuff like permanent uh, max health up. Not a ton going on. Again, have not beat the game by any means, but um, it's it's nice. It's nice, and I I like the obvious love that that went into uh, went into it. But ultimately, not something I, I necessarily see myself playing a ton of. But hey, if this looks like a, a thing for you, then then I hope you have a great time with it, and I hope you have a great day. So. uh... Yeah, have a great day, everyone. Bye.